Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we're going to be taking a look at something really quite awesome, and that is this pop-up water fountain. Now as you know, I recently recorded a video called The Self-Building House, and in that video I asked you guys, would you like to see a self-building village? And of course, the answer to that question was a massive yes. So recently I've been working on some of the various elements that I want to be in that village, and this was one of them, and I thought you might like to see it in a separate video, because I think it's really quite cool. So let's take a closer look at it. Now this build pretty much does what it says on the tin, you start off with flat ground and when you flick this lever you end up with a water fountain. So let's take a look at it in action, as you can see when we flick that lever the floor folds away and then we end up with ice at the top, glowstone underneath and a nice little pillar of slime blocks to push and pull all of these blocks. Now eventually this ice block up at the top here will melt, but sadly due to the way that Minecraft updates the water sources it won't actually flow down, which means I have a little circuit inside the redstone circuit for this build that is essentially a timer. Around about two to three minutes later, that block there will go down, causing an update to this water and allowing it to flow down into all of these holes. There we go, as promised the block has been retracted, the water flows outwards and down into the holes, and just like that we have ourselves a water fountain. Originally we had flat ground, and now we have a beautiful little ornament that everyone can come around and look at. Perfect. In terms of the redstone behind this thing, we've got four different circuits that all work together to allow this whole build to happen. So, first things first, we've got the block retractors. They take away these blocks right here, back down into the ground to make room for all of the water that's going to flow in. And all of that happens first. Next up, we've got the block pushers. They push across the glowstone and the ice so that it's ready to be pushed up. And the thing that is going to be pushing them up is the quad piston extender circuit that you can see right at the very bottom down here. Finally, we have got the timing circuit for the block retraction so that we can take down the blocks to update all of the water that's up on the surface so that it flows down into all of the holes, giving us this nice little water fountain. It is a fairly simple circuit, but as you can see, there's quite a lot of timing and various different elements that have to happen for it all to come together nicely. Now, for obvious reasons, I'm not going to be doing a tutorial on this design simply because it is a lot of effort for something that is fairly silly. But if you do want to take a closer look at all of the redstone behind it and check out the stuff that's behind the scenes, then of course there is a world download down in the description for anyone that wants to check that out. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is all I've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.